Xin chào. What up? All right, so we're gonna do a, like a walking vlog today. I think maybe go to Benthon and take a look what's going on in there. It's like 3.45, so I don't think they're closed yet. Ah, so I've been back from Vung Tao since Friday. I'm just now feeling better. I got pretty sick my last night there. I ate something that didn't agree with my body. I had to take a bunch of medicine, all kinds of shit. So, finally now starting to feel better. I shot that uh, travel COVID update when I was pretty sick, so. Now I'm feeling better, so it's time to get out there and shoot some vlogs. Uh, there's a correction to the last video. The only country you can get to out of the five that Vietnam's doing business with is pretty much Korea without like all kinds of crazy shit. Sounds like Thailand's possible, but Thailand costs shit tons of money to do it. You've got to get insurance, leave a large amount of money, yada, yada, yada. As far as getting into Vietnam, it's still only expert visa. You know, I got a guy that's that's getting through but to come see his wife, but he's having to invest in a Viet company, so it sounds like he's getting the investor visa. I'm getting more information from him. I'm still supposed to meet up with the guy that actually has made it through on an expert visa and get kind of the details on what he did. You know, I've just been sick, so I've been out of it. So finally now I'm feeling better, so I'm able to go do stuff and see things. Uh, I think Mark's coming up tomorrow. They want to meet early, but I'm not an early guy like that. So we'll see if we see Mark in the next few days. Probably. So the first thing I want to talk about is we're going to do our first GoFundMe pretty quick here. Um, the goal is within the next two weeks, find an orphanage or a, a like a, a feed the homeless shelter, one of the two, and then raise, I, I want to say, I want to do the first one pretty, pretty low, like $2,000. If I'm going to do an orphanage, I'm going to actually go and buy the diapers and all the stuff. I'll show the receipts for it. So all this money, none of it will be going towards me whatsoever. It'll all be for whatever cause that we choose as a collective. It's gonna look like it's gonna be an orphanage because they seem to need the most amount of help um, from what I'm gathering. And you know, I could buy formula, I could buy diapers, and I don't know what else babies needs, maybe blankets and shit. But I would buy all that stuff and then make sure it's delivered there, and then go there, give it away, document it, document the receipts so no funny business is going on. So that'll probably be, you know, that's what I want to get going in the next two weeks. So let me know your thoughts on it, what you think. Um, if you have specific ideas, you know, email me at fatandbroke1 at gmail.com. Just make sure it's not a page email. I often don't even reply to page emails. They're just too long. There's too much information. You know, I'm a paragraph guy, so paragraph summarize you know paraphrase I, I don't need a two-page email let's just get to the point <laughs> you know what I'm saying so yeah uh, overall Vung Tao was very good this uh, last time I had a pretty good time except for getting sick and I know what I ate I ate this like minestrone soup that didn't taste right when I was eating it when I got it. It was probably old and they probably whipped it out of the fridge and just dumped it in and microwaved it and it just did me wrong. My stomach's still a little off. So I've also way, way, way cut back on drinking. You know what, most if I have a drink I'll have a beer a day now. Um, you know I haven't been smoking, I've been just, just using the vape pen. So. I mean, it's actually a good thing in hindsight. It's got me kicking in my health. A little hotty. Oh, she must work at this trim place. More hotties. They're everywhere here. So, I mean, yeah, it just kicked my butt into, you know, getting into taking my health a little bit more serious. I also have to get a. Uh, health exam for my work permit, so dial back all that stuff. I don't need to be hardcore drinking every day. You know, 
one drink a day, two, two max. Cut back on the hoons, if not quit the hoons. And focus on being healthy for me and Winnie and our eventual upcoming family. It also has been saving me shit tons of money too, because you know I'm not going out, I'm not drinking, I'm not buying alcohol at night. So it's, it's helping in a lot of ways. I got back on the horse today, I ran three miles. I went to the gym for an hour. I did chest, various different chest exercises. Tomorrow I'll do arms. Wednesday I'll do shoulders and back. Thursday legs. And Friday I usually redo uh, bench again. Never skip leg day. My legs are pretty strong, they don't look it, but I still never skip leg day. Really nice out weather-wise today. I'd say it's 78. Overcast. This is kind of the best weather in Saigon. You know, you don't instantly sweat walking. I'm walking a pretty fast clip right now, so I am starting to sweat a little. But yeah, so we just walked through Japantown, and now we're going coming up to the Vincom Center. Um, they do have H&M in there, and a bunch of other American eye stores if you need stuff like Zara, if you're a girl. I know not many women watch, but thank you to the ones that do. Shout out Vicky, Katrina. <sighs> Who else? That's all I can think of off the top of my head. If I forgot you, I'm sorry. Just also want to say a big shout out to the Patreons. Thank you guys. Lots of content coming from Patreons. Um, I think we're going to do live streams for Patreons. Even though there's only like 33 of you. I still think if we can find a time to do a live stream where I just talk to you guys, that'll be good. The plan is to also give you access to videos a day early. So... That should start up in a week or two. I just have to back catalog some videos. See, that's a hotter old lady. All these older expats come here and they want like a 20 something year old girl. I, I don't get it. Like if you're 60, what's wrong with dating a 35 year old chick or a 40 year old chick? They can still be just as hot. Don't be ageist, guys. I'm kind of glad I don't get those kind of dudes on my channel because I'm not an ageist in any kind of way. I was not looking for Winnie when I found Winnie. I was actually intending to be single and just, you know, do my thing. I just happened to find a really great woman. And, you know, it's one of those things. I would super regret it if, if you know what I'm saying. So, sometimes life throws things at you like this. So, you've got to make that decision, and I did. And it's one of the best ones I've ever made. We really get along well, so I'm happy with that. Overall, you know, things are going well. After the Fu Kwok series, all the videos are doing pretty good again. So, I don't know if just Fu Kwok is saturated with people doing YouTube there. I don't know why it didn't hit, but no big deal. You live and you learn. You know, would it be great to get another 5,000 subscribers tried in a two month period? Yeah, but you can't force greatness, right? I'm trying to hold the camera pretty steady. It's gonna be like the beginning of rush hour soon. Maybe we'll go down to Boy Vane and take a look down there too. I haven't been down there in forever. Calm. 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 Come in. They always find it funny when I know no. I've been getting pretty good with the Vietnamese lately. DD, let's go. That's the one I learned. So the way I've been learning Viet quicker than any other way is if we watch a show and it's English and it has Viet subtitles and then I can rattle off the Winnie as that goes by and then I'll just re-say it like 50 times and then try to use it as much as possible. You can't be shy. You can't be afraid to say the wrong shit. Who cares? I don't care if you're cringing away at home, if you're Vietnamese, and you're like, oh, you're fucking it up. Well, at least I'm trying. You never know if you don't try. You're never gonna get better. And I'm not like a teacher, so I'm never gonna be in that like teaching format thing to where, you know, a lot of people that learn foreign languages in these places quickly are usually teachers at like a Viet school or, or even Chinese or at a Chinese English teaching school. And you know, they have people that are, they're working with that they can kind of backboard off of. 
new in Walking Street. So yeah, as far as uh, Vietnam, everything's open again. Second wave is contained. People are traveling again domestically. I think it's a bit ridiculous that they're not opening up internationally. If someone wants to do a 14-day quarantine, is this guy for real? Look at this guy. What a dick. <laughs> Fucking asshole. That's what you get in Vietnam, though. Can't take it personal. That guy did everything in his life to get around me for a half-second gain. But it kind of works, you know? Besides for the 17 people a day that die on their motorbike, but it is what it is. So yeah, the goal is to start a GoFundMe for either an orphanage or a, a, a food shelter. I think orphanage is easier because I can actually go and buy all the shit and then there'll be no corruption with the money. I love Vietnam, but it's I might be corrupt in areas. So I, I feel kind of apprehensive about like raising two grand for a for a like food shelter and then just giving it to them and hoping they do the best with it. With the uh, you know the orphanage, I can essentially just buy the stuff and take it there and know that it's going to get used. Ripping the vape pen. Yeah, traffic's starting to get a little, a little heavy. So yeah, the goal is to eat healthier, you know, have a healthier lifestyle, drink less. That's the other pasture uh, location. You know, I was going to shoot a vlog there, and I told the guy uh, I wanted to, you know, shoot a little video there because it's it's one of the better places to drink. And I gave him my card, and they're like, you know, whatever. They're, uh, I don't know, their advertising department emailed me and like interviewed me on like, what are you going to shoot? Well, how are you going to shoot it? Is it going to be positive? Is it going to? So like, I'm not even going to bother even messing with it. <laughs> I've never had anybody do that before. What kind of crazy shit is that? I just offered to give you free publicity as a place I like to drink. I mean, granted, I'm not like fucking YouTube star or anything, but, you know, that's one or two probable extra customers that they're gonna, you know, get from a video. Maybe not right away, but eventually in the long, long run. Good job. It's a weird dress. I mean, fashion is exploding here. Everybody's a fashionista now. Just hitting the vape pen. So as far as traveling is gonna go, you know, between, Fu Quoc was pretty much through donations. I think we spent like a hundred bucks extra on like food and stuff. Um, Vung Chow I pretty much paid out of pocket, but it was very affordable. I maybe spent a couple hundred bucks. Um, but as far as traveling, I've gotta wait now, you know. I'm not a rich guy. I've gotta let money build up and donations and then we'll travel again. I foresee maybe a month or so. But there's plenty of content to shoot here in Saigon, so. I now have like kind of a home away from home in Vung Tao, so if I ever do want to go out there, you know, Mark's always there. Don't be stingy, Mark. <laughs> Anybody that watches your mom's house will, will get that joke. These are the shoe repair guys. They fix a shoe. I still need to get a new pair of Hoover Under Armors. Very difficult to source here. So. You know, it is what it is. You deal with what you have, though, so. Nice little walkabout. I mean, the weather couldn't be any better. Papaya, Saigon, Central Hotel. The one weird thing, you know, Vietnam isn't doing this. They're not dropping their hotel rates too accordingly. Especially in Boom Tao, I was super surprised. Like, we went and looked at a bunch of hotels, and this one was at 100 bucks a night when we got there on, like, a a Sunday night and no one was there like it's one of those hotels where you can see you know who's there with the lights on and you can see all the rooms because they all have a balcony and all this shit and I looked before we went up there was like maybe five lights on and we were looking pretty late so like most likely and it was a Sunday night so most likely people were already in that were gonna be in at the hotel the guy straight bold face looks at me and goes, there's a hundred people staying here at a hundred bucks a night I'm like you're... I just looked at him and I go you're Sal dude Sal and I just walked away and left. I, I don't understand the point to lie and why you're still trying to get such high 
high rent on your hotel. There's all you have is domestic travel for Vietnamese, and Vietnamese, unless they're super rich, they're not going to pay a hundred dollars a night for a hotel. That's just straight insanity. And they still even did like the super rate jack up on the weekends. So if you do want to go to Vung Tau and you're in Vietnam, it's cheaper to go on the weekdays by like 50%. Less people, especially if you're trying to escape the bustle and, you know, bustle and grind of Saigon, I would want to go there on the weekday. There's like almost nothing going on there, so. Papaya Hotel. But I think most of the hotels in Saigon discounted. I mean, they're understanding there's no one, no one here to come to them. Especially there's a lot of high-end hotels in Saigon. So maybe we'll get a new shirt. I do need some new flip-flops. Maybe they'll have some new flip-flops. There's the Circle K on the infamous Twitch where the, the dickhead guy's like, No film here. No film here. Uh, as far as Twitch goes, they just never replied to me. So I don't think we're ever getting Twitch back, you know. Those little trolls won their battle on that. I'm gonna email them and be like, oh, I really appreciate you guys never even getting back to me on this. Never giving me a warning and just permanently banning me pretty much out of nowhere because a bunch of computer fucking warriors reported me for TOS. Twitch is a completely broken system. You know, not even YouTube operates really that way. You can at least have an appeal and at least go through an appeal process. Twitch didn't even give me any of that, so. Kind of like, you know, fuck you, Twitch. I don't need you for shit. He's fixing some shoes. Yeah, it looks like Benton's open, which is good. We'll go in the heart of the beast. There's a rich chick getting in an Audi. <laughs> Another funny thing Vietnamese do is if they're driving like a Mercedes C200, they'll throw like AMG on it. And then they will, they will remove the muffler, which is no performance gains on those type of cars. It just makes it sound like shit. I mean, what can you do though? So these are all stalls owned by the person, like we've talked about before. Looks like this lady's moving out. She might be going out of business. This guy might try to tell me to put my mask on sometimes. You can just sneak by though most of the time. Xin chào. Hello. Vâng. They told me to put my mask on, but nobody fucking else has theirs on. Put the mask up. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. All right, let's get in here. See what's going on. So this is like they have food here in the morning and shit, like meats. It's early though. It's usually closed by like noon. Let's see what's going on here. It looks even like less than than last time I was here. Oh, it looks like it's in dire. Well, even more places have closed. There was more open last time. Oh, this is depressing. Holy shit. Yeah, this is much less people. Let's go down this way. This is all food for the beginning, and then it should drift into clothing. I've been here so much now. Xin chào. Xin chào. Come. Come. Come in. <coughs> Pull this stupid mask down. I'll wear a mask if there's COVID around, but you know, there hasn't been a case in Saigon in like 50 days or some crazy number. We're all in food still. Fa seasoning. Candies, lozenges. I wonder if they've bought out anything new for like this season. Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit more close up calm. Let's see. Looks like people are moving out. Or they're moving clothes around. I don't know what's going on. Xin chào. Let's see what we got. We got designer masks, that's smart. I don't know how to say excuse me yet. Xin chào. A lot of designer masks. 
Xin chào. What are you looking for? Just looking. You buy the millionaires. Tom. <laughs> I think she said obscenities at me. They don't like it when I know a little bit of it. Let's see. I don't need any fabric. I don't need any bras. Although I could probably use a bras for support. Wouldn't hurt. Xin chào. Just looking. <laughs> no t-shirt. Calm. Just looking. I gotta walk around still. One more. Come on. Calm. Let's see what's down here. These are terrible. Like if you buy these, they shrink in one, one wash. Xin chào. You buy t-shirt? Very aggressive. <laughs> it's ugly. I don't like this one. You didn't buy hair? I saw your mom's hair. Oh, it's crazy. There's no one in here, guys. It's like a ghost town. Xin chào. Oh, you speak good English, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Basketball and teachers. And... Your English is really good. Did you live in America? No. no? I, you you learned just here. Right. Wow, good. I learned in the school and I work here, I learn more. Wow, very good. How's business? Terrible? Nah, it's very bad. <laughs> so do you own the stall or do you rent it? I, I rent. You rent? Yeah. You're still able to afford the rent, huh? Yes. Wow. I pay a lot of money. Well, how much is rent? Like 1200 right? Uh, 1200 US. No, I pay for for months um for for one for the normal yeah. one month is one hundred dollars uh, no one thousand dollars yeah but what is it now yeah and now it's uh, three months for uh, for one thousand ah so much better deal then yeah, yeah. still no foreigner to come and buy this shit yeah you need the foreigner <laughs> you need the white guys <laughs> well I wish you the best a bit I don't wear any of this shit man I only wear or How much? Uh, this one, 180. 180. 180. Makwa. No, Makwa. This is a good one. Too much cheaper. I got Makwa. Here, this is 120. This, uh, this is shit, though. This one, okay. See? Quality different. For tourists, I charge more higher, but you. you <laughs> tourists. Yeah, that's why I don't charge you. <laughs> Do you have these in a big size? Yeah, I got big size. And more Show me your big size. Like 2XL. I want comfortable. Yeah. But you gotta come down on that price. 180 Makwa. No Ma, good one. <laughs> These aren't bad. These are nice. These would go for, good at the gym. You go somewhere nobody nobody taught you for one. They start for must, must hire. I've been shopping here for yeah. years, man. I shoot many vlogs here. I know what the price of stuff is. So I got this color here, 2XL. Too small. Bigger. Fat guy size. Here. You got 3XL? 2XL, the biggest size. Yeah, it's, it's too small. Trust me, I'm fat now. You don't have 3XL, huh? Yeah, one, one, two. Do you like this one? Do you like this one? Those are ugly. Let me see. Let's see. This one I have to clap. This one I have to clap. Full black. What size is that? Same size. Hmm. Here, hold this. Let me let me see. You got too short, yeah? Pretty tight. Tight. Too fat right now. You fat guy size. Gain weight from COVID. But you want different different design? Do you like this one? I got bigger. Here, like this one. How much big? You, how big do you have in this? Three. Okay, I, I got two, but the, the size bigger. Okay, let's try it out. Get this guy a sale. Okay, these look pretty big. I agree with your assessment of these. Zipper pocket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Choose this. It's really good mature. Oh, these are good. Yes, of course. It's really good mature. Okay, how much? 
Don't get crazy. 180 actually, actually 180? Makwa? Yeah, no mak! Oh come on man. Makwa. 100. Cannot. My cost by more than 100 already. 100. Before I, I, I taught you this one is this one 120 for the normal quality. 100. This is not better mature. See? 100. 100 cannot man. Give me a better price. 170. 100. 170. 100 cannot. <laughs> 100. My cost, my, my cost more expensive than your price bag. Yeah, but these, you know, like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, these fall Here. apart, like, no. the seams fall apart after, like, you know, wearing them for no. a month. No, 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 never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one at home, I wear for more than one month, one, more than one year already. Yes. And you see here? Very comfortable. Look, look, look. And, I, and that one is ne never loose for this. I like one. these, 100. 100 cannot. Come with better price. This original material, have extra material, and we make the shorts. Yeah, I'm sure. It's serious. <laughs> you wear it and you, you, you try it. Listen, 100k. 100 cannot. Okay, come up with a better price. 170. I don't Makwa. start. I don't start high price. That's why I discount just little, you know. That's too high, man. I bought so much stuff here. I bought. It's dependent mature. Dependent yeah, but quality. I bought. It's I bought here for years, man. I bought hundreds of things here. I'm a YouTuber. I'm trust me. I've, I've been but here. The quality is different. Yeah, but this is too much. 170 is too much. Not much for. Okay, I'll give you final price. 120. That's it. 160. That's it. 120. Okay, 150, no more. 120. 150. 120. I really want to sell for you, but... You know, I have nothing worth it for, for 120. I do for 150. Yeah, how many sales did you make today? You're uh, my second customer today. Second customer, so do you I, want... You know, some some week, I don't have nothing. I have nothing customer. Yeah, so I'm yes. trying to give you a sale. 120. My profit only 20,000 for 150. Okay. My, my cost by 130 Okay, already. I'll go walk around. It's okay, don't worry. But I okay. really want to sell for you, but your price too... too 150, far. too much. Not much for the good one, man. Come down price, 120. You check the quality here, see? It's still very nice. And the material, look at it. It's really good. Okay, I'll walk around. 150. 120. Come uh, on. Uh, 150. 120. 130, you want? 130 now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll do 130. I'll help the man out. My cost was 130 already, man. 140, okay. She just said 130. 140, okay. You just said 130. It's on camera. Just 10, uh, nothing. Nope, 130, I'll do it. You want? Okay. Okay. 135. <laughs> 135. No, it's small. No, small. Sorry. Only big, Bill. Watch, we're going to hook them up. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. All right, here. Thank you, That's bro. part of the game, man. Yeah, you. you gotta play right next time. <laughs> you, don't get by. you never know what's gonna happen, my friend. <laughs> okay, have a good day, guys. Come on, come on. Dombi. <laughs> I think next time, maybe we'll go learn the fat and broke game. This is kind of how I always do bent on market. I would have probably gave him more if he would have came down quicker. Because honestly, the shorts sell usually for 100k, no matter like what the material is, like what it is, whatever they say. Xin Chao. 88. <laughs> Not bad. But winning a pair. She does like those. Maybe. It's a good deal right out of the gate. Let's see what we got down here. Let's see what's down here. I've already been walking around. They already did it. You can do it again. Okay. Hit me with the thermometer as many times as you want. Xin chào. Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. What you have? I have more color today. I don't like any of these. I have more, hang on. Okay, show me. Okay, show me. Okay, show me. Oh my god. Charlie. <laughs>
see what kind of hats they got here. Can you get another hat? This one I have a lot of sexy colors. Sexy colors? Yes. Wow. For the sexy man, huh? Yes. <laughs> For good looking man. <laughs> Sal? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you found me a liar. I don't like any of these. Show me the shirts. Okay. Let me see what colors okay. you got. Okay, darling. Okay, hang on one second. This is with it? Oh, over here? Let me see if I can see it. What size you need? 3XL. 3XL. Big man. Fat guy. No, you're not fat. You're not sexy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A little. little. What your motivation? Motivation. Yeah. What's your motivation? For you have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. Yeah. Oh yeah, Vietnamese. Long. Yeah. Long. She you said I got me. From the north, hey. <laughs> yeah, I learned Hanoian. Yeah. Okay, please pick the colors. That's usually what they teach Hanoian. These are all ugly. You gotta no, get better. Not ugly. It's you gotta ugly. get better looking ones. These are all like old fat white guy ones. This one also cool. I'm trying to help you up here, but shit. This one also nice. This one alright. How much? How many you want together, please? Oh, just one. How about two, darling? Just one. Because corona, I have no sale, and Let, you are good looking. Let's just make this easy. 100, I good, 100K. Good. No! Yep, done. And then we don't have to argue or anything. 100K. No! Oh, come on. I bought 100 of these here. They're 100K. I even get them for 80K sometimes. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch nice. the movie. <laughs> it's a very big, huh? Like yes, yeah, Wong. <laughs> you say, is it very big? <laughs> very big. Nothing big somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. 100K. No. Come on, 100K. And then Please. we're done. I don't even want the shirt. I'm just helping you out. Thank you. But that's too low. Oh, Come don't on, be baby. don't be too poor. No. I'm 100K. This one and one more maybe. That sounds okay. Please. I don't need two. I only want one. I only want this one. Yeah. 100K. Maybe two, Rita I give you cheaper. Look, look, look. Watch what I have. Look at this. 100K. Look at that. Look at that. 100K. Oh, okay, because you are nice. 150. No, 100. No, because you get big side on 100. It. Okay, 200. Trust me, take the 100. No, I can't. It'll turn out good for you if you take the 100. No, baby. I'll take 100 for nothing. Then I'll no, you take the 100 for the shirt. No. Okay, I go walk around. Please. I go walk around then. I okay, offer you. 140. 100. No. I offer you a good deal. Okay, 120 because you are nice. 100. 120. 100. Go. You want to? Okay. okay, okay. Maybe one more, two, for 200? No, just the one. Okay, okay here's 100. Yes, thank you. And then look. Do oh, bonus round. You. See? That's all you gotta Can I do. Give you a hug? Sure, sure. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Here. I love it. How nice you are. Oh, you bought this one? Short. Want? Yes. 100K, too. Do you want any sexy underpants? No, it's okay. You no. never I wear? No. I free ball. Hey, your girlfriend, <laughs> one of the ladies, she just look at me and she say, I'm very big somewhere. <laughs> okay, I go walk around. Yes, Come on. You. What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice yes. to miss you. Nice to meet you. Skin. Come on. <laughs> look at my baby skin. Oh my God. Are you happy you made 150? See, you became rich. I'm, at, I'm, I am very happy, to be honest. <laughs> okay. And I like to hold your hand. But I hope your girlfriend knows you. She's going to kill you. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, I love you, but I can't love you. Only if you are single and available. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. D Dummy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> awesome. That was classic. All right. So that was Benton. We spread a little love. Maybe, oh, maybe let's go get Winnie something. I don't know. Let's, let's look out here. Maybe one of these pants? Let's see. It was a pretty good deal. I'm gonna get the woman something too. Let's see. Yes. 88? Yes. How about 80? No. No. It's a fixed price. Fixed price? Oh, fixed price. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Is this small, smaller size? Or is yeah. it just one size? Uh, this one yep. got size and this one number two. What's the smallest? Smaller number, number two. two small. It's the smallest? Yeah. Promise? Okay. This blue one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we gotta switch batteries. Okay. 
Come on. Oh, fixed price. Come on, tell me it. Okay. Let me switch batteries, guys, and then we'll click right back on. Somewhere clean. Look at how dirty these are. No tourists. Okay, hold on one second. I'm getting outed by the girls that know me here. And I already bought what I was gonna buy here. Don't copyright me. Traditional Vietnamese music. Take a look. It's like they're packing up, maybe for the night. I just think tonight. So that's interesting that the rents are down to three months, a thousand when it used to be a thousand a month. So maybe some of these are rentals now. Xin chào. Let's see. I'm trying to go to the food sector and see if anything's open in the food sector. It's a little bit later in the day now, so that's to be expected. Some durian. All oh, the food stalls are closed already. Come. Oh, durian. I'm wafting that durian. Hitting, hitting right in the stomach. <coughs> Ooh, Ooh that durian. Durian is not an attractive smell, guys. I, I don't much fancy it either. I know Bourdain loved it, but. The smell comes through my mouth, so it's very difficult to, uh, you know, get that out of your your system. Xin chào. Bang. The lemon juice. The last few things have not been that great. Just drink, yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Coca-Cola, beer. No beer. Mời chè anh chị. Mời đây chè đi. Come back. Mời đây. Okay, so we're getting a drink, so we're back. I got a nice refreshing orange juice, had that. I think Benton went pretty well. Had to deal with the troll on YouTube, block his ass. I get a lot of those nowadays. Come at me, guys. You don't bother me at all. So now we'll go check out Wee Ving, and then I will head home. Pretty good walkabout. I think we covered a lot of stuff I wanted to cover. I don't know what we're gonna shoot tomorrow yet. This is one of the parks. Here at night, you'll see them pra practice like dance over in this pagoda thing. The homeless also hang out in this little like triangle thing over here. So that's one pretty big problem they have here too is nobody picks up their dog's poop. So well can't can't win them all. He's checking the lottery. Hoping he wins. I've never met a big ticket lottery winner. Very popular here though. But I mean a lottery ticket's pretty cheap here. It's 10k, so you know around 80 cents. And if you do win, you win like a billion, so pretty decent payback, even though I've never seen anybody win. I'm curious what Boy Vane looks like. I haven't been there in two or three weeks. Boy Vane's not really my thing anymore. You get that out of your system pretty quick here. We're now in the middle of rush hour, so I will walk back home when we finish up. It'll just be quicker almost. Walk back the same way we came, essentially. Yeah, this is rush hour for sure now. A typical, you know, Monday rush hour in good old Saigon. So Repsol. Not really carry any of the lineage of a Repsol. Now they're gonna go. Oh, 
box, see? I don't even think we'll have a beer in Bouvain. I don't think I'm gonna have any drinks today. The orange juice was refreshing enough. Go back home and have dinner with Wynn and watch a Korean movie. I'm a big Korean movie buff now. I watch a lot of Korean movies. Xin Chao. You never want to hold your phone at an intersection like this. They're about done. And yeah, over. Oh. There's a police though. He's got a camera. Sometimes they use my camera, the X3000. They've been recording traffic stops a lot lately. Which I don't know if that means that they're actually giving like tickets now or what. I've never seen anybody actually get a ticket. It's always just a bribe system, so I don't know what the camera's for. Yeah, this guy's got like a GoPro on us. He's got like a body, body cam essentially. Old GoPro, like GoPro 3. Uh, there's a good Korean barbecue right here. It used to be better before COVID. They changed their menu a bit. Like a lot of restaurants changed their menu to adapt for COVID. But uh, Kagogi House is right here. Pretty decent. Me and my buddy June used to eat there all the time. Meat and meat's the better out of the two big chains though, in my opinion. This is like a big cell phone store. I don't know how to say the name. They're typically a little bit more expensive, but you can finance. He's hitting the... Uh, Tobacco bong, have you, as you've seen Harold hit up north. It's popular in like Hanoi, Northern District. <clears throat> you don't see it as much in Southern. You do in like rural areas. I saw quite a bit of them in Fukuok. I don't think we're gonna go down and look at the food stall place. It's probably just as abysmal as it was before. Uh, some some black people have been asking me how uh, you guys are treated here and to be honest with you they don't care you know um, I have not heard of any like racism here towards the uh, black man so if you're of the colored kind you will do just fine here from what I know I mean I have a large group of friends from Africa and we get along great and they've said they've never uh, had any racism or anything towards them so Pretty free about that. There's a Highlands coffee. Not big on Highlands. Pretty overpriced. You know, I don't drink via coffee. I have maybe a coffee once every few weeks. It's not big on my thing. It's, it's really strong here, so it gets you real hopped up. And I'm just not a coffee guy. Never really have been. I used to have espresso in Venice in the morning. So I would go and uh, get espresso with my friends at the same old Cafe Coulage in Venice. Shout out to the homie there, if you're watching any of the videos. He's a good guy. Shit, I forgot his name now. It's been so long, a year and a half almost. So let's see what's going on in Boy Vane, and then we'll end this delicious food or, uh, walking tour that we've been doing for the past hour. Bus coming. It's Gioi. G is, is like older lady, and G is auntie. Yeah, they sound almost identical, but there's just a quite different calm. This is usually the bus depot for if you're traveling to like Boom a lot of different areas. The sleeper buses are really nice here. If you get like a premium 200k sleeper bus, it's pretty comfortable. Mark said Boonta was popping this weekend, which is a good sign for domestic travel. 
I wish all the businesses the best of business and luck in these tough COVID times. That's another good looking old lady. Older lady. I think we'll do a live stream tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea to me. So let's see what's going on down here. It's a bit early. You know, it's five o'clock. So we'll take a, a one, a one, one walk down and then we'll call it for the day. You know, Bowie Vane could be such a great place if they didn't have these music wars and play this Vina house so loud. You can't even hear yourself think. It's not for me. Crazy Buffalo, Miss Saigon, and Go To are all owned by the same place. Same guy. Calm. <laughs> Come on. That's their big go to compliment. It's handsome. It's a pharmacy, pretty affordable pharmacy. Yeah, like I said, go to. I knew go to would be open. Nobody there because there's no, you know. Usually there'd be a good 15 expats there during the travel season when, you know, pre COVID. This is Monaco. This is where the lady boys come at around 10 p.m. So I'll be sitting up here in the front. So if you fancy a lady boy. This is Lost. They've, they've, they're just open before COVID and they, they never caught on, you know. The guy must have a lot of money to just sh shit out at it. Oh, Love Bar, it's a Lady Bar. It looks normal. This looks about normal. She's a massage lady. Calm. Calm. Come. Calm. <laughs> I don't fancy a massage for my mom. Happy hour, 50% off. It's a pretty good deal. I think maybe I'll take the motorbike home. My hips hurting. We shall see. Looks pretty standard so far. Quinn, when, when you see Quan, it just means small restaurant. So you'll see many restaurants with Quan in their name, like Ba's restaurant. Qua, I forget what it's called, Quan. But when you see Quan, that means small restaurant. Monaco. Not a fan of Monaco. It's usually really expensive. Big on balloons though, if I remember right. The expat sitting in there. Monaco 3, right across from Monaco 2. Oh, Miss Saigon got the little cans now too. Everybody's got the little. Like I said, somebody came and sold them all drums. Or forced them to buy them. I could see that being a, a big thing, forcing them to buy them. These might be girls from like Hanoi or something. Domestic travel. Xin chào. They fancy some fat and broke. I'm taking ladies. What else do we got? There's my old gym coming up here, gone. Pool and dart.
Yeah, so we're just in like the opening hours to where everything will open pretty quick here. Blue sky, that's a lady bar. <coughs> More lady bars coming up here on the right. Another lady bar over here. Soccer, huh? It's a big expat hangout down here. Lady bar. Put. More lady bars over here. Oh. Let's take a look down here. Coffee. Bookworm coffee, been here forever. Popular expat hangout during non-COVID times. It's gonna be a long vlog today, guys. I don't think I'm gonna cut it into parts. I think we'll make it all one big thing. Another lady bar. The, the black pop. The public nightclub, fuck that place. Totally overpriced. Not a nightclub I recommend. Here are the dogs, the one, but it looks like it was close. Alright guys, I think that's the walkabout vlog today, plus the Benton Market Spree giveaway. And hopefully no one will complain about Benton Market this time. Even though the quality of material there is terrible. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.